some general reactions in India. अरे गवर्नमेंट को पता चल गया तो अरे क्या बताए भैया अब जितने आदमी दुकान में नहीं है उतनी तो फाइलें बनानी पड़ती है यार ये हमेशा मेरी ही फैक्ट्री में एक इंस्पेक्शन होता रहता है डिग्री तो मिल गई पर अब जॉब का क्या <laughs> रात गई बात गई जॉब गई पीएफ गया भूल जाओ यार देवा रे देवा अभी इसका बीमा के लिए मेरे को कितना पापड़ बेलने का Now is the time to prove that the government is not your adversary but your friend and partner. We have moved to make doing business easy for small businessmen. To provide easy access to schemes for unorganized workers. To assure the organized worker that PF and pension is their right to enable demand driven vocational training and above all to make things so simple ministry of labor and employment government of india this is the beginning of a simple revolution it's easy governments move to reform the archaic and the complex labor laws will definitely reduce the compliance burden on the industry and this is going to be a huge issue because by promoting simplification and flexibility in labor laws it will contribute to a conducive environment for doing business and it will also bring in radical changes in the overall economic scenario in the country the entrepreneurs running small business units once amended instead of multiple registers now all you will have to do is maintain only two registers and file a single annual return online don't be afraid to hire more than 19 workers the government is soon going to increase this limit to 40 employees for a small business unit transformation that industry would like especially small entrepreneurs is the ability to comply with the regulatory requirements in a manner where transaction costs and time are the minimal and that happens best through the e mode of regulatory compliance and that is what the ministry is attempting and we should really transform the business environment with the launch of our very new unified labor web portal we will enable online registration of units reporting of inspections electronic submissions of simplified annual returns redressal of grievances and much more cherry on the top it's also transparent now a randomized and computerized system will select the units for inspection more accountable inspections with the report uploaded within 72 hours say goodbye to inspector raj it's flexible and safe freedom for you working women once amended the factories act will allow you to work night shifts too your employers will soon ensure adequate safeguards and you will be dropped home safely the limit of overtime hours for workers too will be enhanced to 100 hours from 50 per quarter with the personal protective equipment provided by your employer now you will definitely not be getting exposed to danger even in hazardous jobs it's new the employees working in organized sector now pf benefits of 4.17 crore contributing employees will stay right with them seeded to their bank accounts and aadhar cards as we are providing a universal account number uan to all existing and future subscribers of epfo the provision of minimum pension of 1000 rupees per month from september 2014 under epf will benefit around 28 lakh pensioners against the current limit of 6500 rupees 
those of you with monthly wages up to 15,000 rupees will now be eligible for coverage under EPF scheme, providing you benefits of provident fund, pension and insurance. Now, the smart is going to be made smarter. The Rashtriya Swasthya Bhima Yojana, covering 3.85 crore families, is all set to improve its service delivery, which will encompass a dedicated call centre and a robust grievance redressal mechanism, third-party audit and evaluation of scheme, improved IT architecture, wellness check of beneficiaries, centralised empanelment of the insurers. For the first time under RSBY, smart cards will be ceded to their bank accounts and Aadhaar cards and converge three social security schemes of the Government of India in 20 pilot districts of country. Later on, even the state governments will be encouraged to add their schemes on the smart cards. And you, the youth of India, we are moving on war footing to make you vocationally trained and employed. ITI courses have been revamped with involvement of industry-led mentor councils. Soft skills have also been integrated. More than 4,000 trainers have been trained for the latest curriculum through distance learning mode. Flexi MOUs have been signed with the industries and special courses have been designed for industrial needs with high employment potential. The ministry has been very forthcoming and open to change and that is a real game changer again. The paradigm shift of having training classes conducted as per the need of the modern industries or the newer industries, that is what is important in this case. Constant efforts are on to connect ITIs with IITs through setting up chairs and incubation centers. The government is going to develop a model ITI in every state which can be replicated by other ITIs of the state. Soon, we are going to transform employment exchanges into career centers. Six model career centers in December 2014 and total 50 by March 2015 will be operational. They will effectively connect the job seekers with the industry. I think one of the most fascinating things about the current government and uh, the Ministry on Labour and Employment in particular is the fact that they are very inclusive in their approach. They are looking at ways in which disadvantaged societies are attended to and uh, they are also looking at enhancing women's participation in the labour force. I, I think collectively the programme is practically transformational in its reach and its import. Our big target is to raise the number of apprentice seats from 4 lakhs to 23 lakhs by amending the Apprentices Act 1961. Earn while you learn. The government will reimburse 50% of stipend to the MSME employer for maximum two years, benefiting both the youth and the employer. This is a simple revolution. Simple ideas applied, simple use of technology, and a major change in work, business, and governance. It's a beginning of a strong innings with a message that things can be made easy. Happy working, India!